Tom Werner, who's an executive television producer. He's obviously uh, one of the part owners uh, of, the, of the Boston Red Sox. And he joins us this morning on TK and Tune. How you doing, Tom? Good to talk to you again. Hey, I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I, I think I thanked you when I was there, but uh, thank you again for the hospitality you showed me and my wife. I, so, I don't know if I told it, you it the story. It, well, we went. It was fun to see you, and it's always good to talk about Fenway Park. Yeah, no, we went. Well, and just to follow that story, we went, and Tom at, said, hey, you want to go sit in our seats? They're right next to the dugout. So we went and sat in those seats right next to the dugout, and apparently they caught us on television. So later that night, <laughs> we, we went over to Cheers, you know, obviously because we're, we're doing the tourist thing. We go over to Cheers, and it's like everybody knew my name. <laughs> I walk in, everybody's like, hey, Teague, how was the hey, game? Everybody knows your name, Teague. <laughs> yeah, but not in Boston. Yeah, maybe in New York. <laughs> now, look, you've done a lot of great things in your life, and diversity and, uh, and interesting uh, diversions from what people, quote, know you as. Um, but this one is interesting that you're working on now. Before we get to the baseball, and, and I actually want to ask you about Liverpool, who are playing out on the West Coast in, a, in about a week or so. Tell us about this Survivor's Remorse project that you're working on with Maverick Carter and LeBron James. How did this come about? Well, you know, LeBron is uh, about a lot, not just about what he does on, on the court. And we were talking, Maverick and LeBron and myself, about stories about uh, what it's like really not just to be on the court as, as a basketball player, but what, it, what it's like to deal with the, the off-court issues. And so this is a show about a fictional uh, player whose name is Cam Calloway, but it's really about how he and his family deal with being his being a superstar and obviously family is both good and bad and and uh, you know we have subtext in the show it's about greed and and gratitude but it's a great show i'm really proud of it um i urge you to watch it it's coming on the air on stars for the third season this sunday and uh, you know anybody who cares about sports is going to really relate to the show because it's funny and it's smart and it's about stuff. Should we take away that this is a mirror of LeBron's life? Well, I think you when you when you see it, you'd certainly know that he suggested some storylines. I don't think it's about LeBron any more than it's about Kevin Durant mm -hmm. or, or Steph Curry, but it's about a superstar and. It's not easy when you're 24 years old and all of a sudden you're playing uh, and you've got $100 million uh, in your bank account. But uh, it's really about how he and his family navigate uh, through uh, those uh, those uh, issues. And and it's a political show, too, in a, in a good way. I mean, it doesn't put politics before character. But, uh, like, we did, a, we did a story uh, a couple of weeks ago about they cast a, um, a model on, a, on an advertising shoot, but... She's too light-skinned, and so one of the characters thinks that it's important to portray in the media a more dark-skinned model, and, and, and stuff goes on after that decision is made. We're talking to Tom Werner, who's the chairman of the Boston Red Sox. And obviously, we'll get to the Red Sox, who are now statistically tied atop the American League East. But you bring up an interesting question, Tom. In light of what we've seen um, in the NBA pulling the All-Star game and what Carmelo and LeBron and Dwayne Wade and, and – uh, and, and Chris Paul did at the ESPYs, is there a, a natural and necessary interaction between athletics and athletic influencers and politics? I know that you have a good relationship with Bill and Hillary. Where, where, where is the line, or should there be blurredness like, we see, like we're seeing now? Well, I certainly think that uh, if you're doing a story or you're doing a, a show about it reflects life, uh, especially you know, if you're doing a show about sports, then then you got to touch on all subjects. And, and I'm not saying Survivor's Remorse is about race, but it's got to be part of the of the conversation. And, you know, these these athletes are, are role models and and people expect them to, you know, carry on, you know, with with their lives when they, you know, hang up the the the. Uh, uniform and so that's part of what life is right yeah no i think you're right and i think i think it's i think it's a great thing for athletes to do this like i've always viewed carmelo in a certain way but now that he's come out and done the things that he's doing now i actually view him differently i think it, it humanizes mm -hmm. in some ways but also makes the fact that you make millions i mean hundreds of millions of dollars uh, not stomachable but more like you, you you actually care 
to use your influence to do good. And I think that's a, that's a great yeah. thing that sports provide. And I think part of why LeBron is proud of the show, and again, really, I, I really ask you to watch it because I think you'll get a kick out of it, is that it's employing a lot of, of uh, African Americans, not just as people in front of the camera, but directors, writers, uh, stagehands. And so, you know, this show is providing great employment as well, and that's important. No, it definitely is. Survivor's Remorse is on Stars on Sunday at 10 p.m. I haven't seen it yet, Tom, but I am definitely uh, going to go. Okay, to I'm calling you Monday morning. <laughs> yes, you should, and I will, because I'm going <laughs> to check it out. Um, the Red Sox, you guys are, are atop the division now, and the, really the big, one of the big stories is the retirement of Big Poppy, of David Ortiz. What's that emotionally like in the locker room and the organization? Because you're going to lose the icon over the last decade or so. Well, first of all, it is a real treat to be watching him day in and day out. Uh, yesterday he did something. I've, I've been to a lot of baseball games. He actually hit a ball in batting practice, Tiki, that, that got stuck in the foul pole. The power <laughs> of, the, of the ball was so strong. It just didn't bounce off of it. just got wedged in it. And, I, I, I'm watching history right now, and, and I, it's been a treat to watch him play. Um, you know, we, we tried to dissuade him from retiring, but, you know, what? there was this article in, um, in, uh, uh, on ESPN on, on the website about the pain that he's going through on a daily basis just to get on the field. Yeah. He's got real ankle, ankle issues and foot issues. And, and what's even more remarkable is that he is really playing – at a, at a level right now that is extraordinary with this physical pain. So I just have great admiration for him. Of course, um, it's, it's disappointing to know that, that, you know, we're watching something that's, you know, it's his last season, but we can only appreciate what he's doing. And what he's doing now is playing at a level even better than what he's been doing previously. Yeah, no, it is. It is amazing to watch. And having met him that time, as I was alluding to, when I went up and did that story, he's just as down to earth of a guy as you could uh, imagine. He actually thought he could play tight end uh, in the NFL. But I think <laughs> well, his, I think he can do anything he sets his mind to. Yeah, I think I think his ankles might be a little bit there's, there's his calves and ankles <laughs> might be a little bit too skinny. I mean, we're talking to Tom Warner here, chairman of the Boston Red Sox, but you're also the chairman of Liverpool Liverpool's football club. Now you guys are playing against AC Milan next week, and it, obviously it'll be a big game because there are communities that love soccer even in the United States. It's a huge international sport. But where, where, where does this go? It, does, is there a viability of soccer? I mean, obviously, you wouldn't have gotten involved with it if you didn't think so, but wh how does it get to the level that it is internationally here in the States, if it can? Well, well, you're, you're right. It is Globally, it's the, uh, the most uh, watched and, and enjoyed sport in the world. Uh, the World Cup, for example, does four or five times the – amount of uh, viewer rating as uh, as uh, the Olympics, and it's just catching on here. And uh, NBC has done a great job in, in in showing games in the Premier League, and we've seen a lot more interest in in Liverpool and Man City and Man U and Chelsea in the last few years. Part of the reason we go to America is to show the the product to our our uh, American fans and. This, is, this isn't a knock on the MLS, but people in America want to see the greatest players in the world when they play a sport, and the greatest players in soccer are playing in the Premier League. Yeah, that makes sense. You're right. I think it's one of the reasons that the NFL Europe didn't do great in Europe, because it wasn't the, the best players, and you kind of knew that. So if you can get the, how do you get the best players to come play in the States? Is the, is the real question. Well, is it money? Is it as simple as having you know, a couple billion dollar company? Uh, so that you can pay them? Well, you know, I mean, part of what makes the Premier League so good is that the competition is at a high level, too. Yeah. So, you know, you, you could import Ronaldo or Messi to play here, but but the 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 the, the, the entertainment value and the, and the competitive value of the Premier League can't be matched. And I, I just think more and more people are going to be watching the Premier League. It's, it's a... Uh, it's on on Saturdays and Sundays, and, and we've seen a pretty good... Uh, bump in the ratings and part of the reason we're going we're playing chelsea in la and as you said ac milan in san francisco and then we're playing in a couple of other cities and and we're gonna you know have sold out crowds yeah tom you got your hands in a lot of buckets and i i, I love the success you know successful people 
you know, make me inspired. So congratulations, well, good you. luck, and w- I will watch Sorry, this. Well, Survivor's no, Remorse. It's, good to, t- it's S- good to talk to you, Tiki. Sunday Thanks. at 10. Good to chat with you again, Tom. Tom Warner, chairman of the Boston Red Sox, executive producer of Survivor's Remorse with, with Maverick and LeBron James.